I found a better way to pick this lock. It's following the same method that Potty314 uses. So what I do is I apply only light tension on this lock, a little bit more than light maybe, and I find the first gate, it's already in a gate, and instead of finding all the four gates, I go to the next lock, the, the next wheel, and okay, I just had to release tension a little bit so it could turn just a little bit, okay, and it's at the gate, it's found the gate, don't find all the gates, just go to the next gate. It looks as though this one's already in the gate. Go to the next wheel, and this one it seems to turn to four, and that's that gate. Okay, so that's loose, loose, loose -ish, tight. So I release tension a little bit, turn it a little bit, tension it a little bit again, and find the next gate. Okay, it looks as though the next gate at three and it's looseish so one of the other wheels will, will, will bind I find the one of the other wheels that's binding the most that's hardest to turn well I'm not even going to check the other two because this one I can't turn at all so I'm going to release tension turn it find the next gate that's still tight the next gate okay that I can turn this, I can turn this, it's not open so one of these wheels will, will be binding and it's this one, I can't turn this at all, um, finding the one that's hardest to turn and it's definitely this one, so release tension on the next gate and the lock's open.